Paddy's review. My review of the weekend's Premier League games start with the 3 o'clock games. A comfortable 3-0 home win for Brentford. They've had an absolute fantastic season in the Premier League season. A couple of defeats now for Southampton in a row. And they'll be looking over their shoulder in the relegation battle. But I think they just have enough to be safe. But I think Southampton will need another result just to be safe and sorry regarding Premier League survival. The other three o'clock games, Chelsea, Wolves. I thought it was a well-deserved result for Wolves because in the first half they, create, they created some great chances and in the first half they should have scored. Second half, even when Chelsea went 2 and up, you still thought that there was, there was something in the game for Wolves. A great comeback, you know, two-all draw. Their away record this season has been unbelievable, even though the manager wasn't there the weekend. And uh, Wolves have had a very good season in the Premier League this season. And for Chelsea... Uh, tour place isn't guaranteed yet and they will need another result or two to get that sealed for this season we're at 3 o'clock matches Crystal Palace good home win for them Wilfred Saha has been very influential for them this season and Patrick Vieira has done an amazing job with Crystal Palace in the half five game Brighton against Manchester United I've talked a lot about Manchester United this season how poor they have been but this match is just going to focus on Brighton they were outstanding for minute one they just they dominated the game they created chances and 4-0 was what they deserved they played really well they scored some great goals brilliant win for Brighton and I was saying there about Patrick Vieira doing, doing an amazing job great, the job that Graham Potter has done at Brighton this season has been brilliant and he has to be a nomination for manager of the year but Manchester United they know where they're at and the less said about that the better because I've talked about that in detail for the majority of the season on Sunday Arsenal and Leeds I love Luke Gaynor as a footballer but what he did on Sunday was absolute stupid that was disgraceful what he did that tackle and he's not even going to play another minute this season now three games suspended that could be his last game in the Premier League I th- that was shocking to be honest and Rafinha he was he was lucky not to be sent off either. You know, he was st- stupid what he was doing. But in fairness to Leeds, they kept it 2-0. A bit of desperate defending at times. Some good saves with Melier. Second half, a great ball with Phillips. 2-1, Lorente, good goal. At the end of the match, Rodrigo had a great chance to score an equaliser. So, uh, look at the second half performance. The positive is that they did, it wasn't a humili- humiliation. They didn't get hammered. And... That has to be a positive going to Wednesday night. It's all about staying in the game, especially when you play Chelsea. Stay in the game, and if you get one chance, take it. And hopefully that will happen during the week. But for Arsenal, they've had a fantastic season. Uh, a well-deserved contract extension for Arteta because he has done a, a brilliant job. He's proved me wrong because I didn't think he was up, up to the task of Arsenal manager. And I have to apologise because he's done an absolute fantastic job. You know, And they could finish third place in the league if... If they were able to win the remaining games and Chelsea keep continue to slip up. So, a fantastic season for Arsenal. Everton-Leicester, good away win for Everton. Two two wins in a row. You look at the fixtures they have left and you think that they'll probably have enough to be safe. Um, West Ham and Norwich, bringing the away win for West Ham. Great reaction after what happened to them in the Europa League semi final. And they'll, they'll finish ahead of United this season. West Ham will finish seventh. And Manchester United will finish 8. And the half 4 game, Man City and Newcastle talking about reactions. What a reaction by City after what happened to them against Real Madrid. It was an absolute fantastic performance, professional. They scored some brilliant goals. Uh, I thought Jack Reed was very uns- unselfish, especially the last goal. You know, he could have shot and passed it instead. But Raheem Sterling and Phil Foden come on and scored another good goal. The, Bru- the cross by De Bruyne for Rodri's goal was unbelievable. The, his delivery is just perfect and they they went out with the intention of putting down a marker because they would have been disappointed what happened you know during the week with some of the players especially De Bruyne had a quiet match against Real so they went out with a point to prove and it was a fantastic performance but for Newcastle like I don't they shouldn't be reading too much into this they've had a fantastic season considering where they at when Eddie Howe came in and you know, just put it down to a bad day at the office. They're safe. They're mid-table, you know. So, 
he's done a fantastic job. If you look at the title race now, and there's three points in it. You know, Liverpool not beating Spurs on uh, the Saturday night. I thought Spurs played really well. And, you know, to be beaten for Spurs against uh, Liverpool and City this year is fantastic achievement. But the three points in it, the three games ago, looking at the fixtures, you know, Man City have Wolves Wednesday night away. That'd be a tough match because Wolves in good form. Liverpool have to go to Villa. So... <sighs> Does a draw do anything for Liverpool? Not not for Liverpool, but for City, they'd probably a draw be enough because the goal difference, you know, that goal difference is an extra point. They're four goals ahead in the goal difference as well. So um I I do think City are in the driving seat, but there will be another twist or torn because Man City do have difficult fixtures away from home. And if uh Diaz's need to play, if he's not able to play it's a blow. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.